Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crying Sons. My name is Owen. Um, last time, we experienced a somewhat tragic end to our shockingly three-episode-long first run of a roguelike. Um, to be fair, most of the first and second episodes were kind of going through the tutorial world, but um, we did learn a whole lot about this sort of weird universe that we live in. Um, basically, 20 years ago, some weird event happened where um, a lot of these... Uh, like supercomputer robots that humanity created to sort of basically do everything for us, shut down for some reason unknowing, and we don't know why. Um, and then our supercomputer here, named uh, uh, Taliban, uh, woke us up from cryo sleep, or our clone, I guess, up from cryo sleep, um, to basically figure out why the Empire has stopped communicating with it, and and basically figure out what exactly is going on. Um, so we're going to be starting a new run today. Is this our previous? No, this would be our next one, I guess. They're counting up. But this is our first time respawning, so I'm interested to see how what, what changes between the first time and the second time here. Your mine download is complete, Admiral. Ready to try again. Um, oh, okay, so he's downloaded, all right, our memories have been downloaded to our new clone, okay. Um. Can we ask, oh yeah, let's ask Caliban for a reminder of what's happened up until this point. Can you fill me in on what's happened up until this point? We met Tig and Bowie, learning all that Omnis in the Outer Rim mysteriously shut down 20 years ago and that a group of radioactive thugs called Scrappers have since taken control of the Omni Outer Rim. We were trying to reach Mother, their brutal leader, to return to turn the machines back on when we were blown to bits and pieces. Your mind download is complete, Admiral. Ready to try again. Uh, let's see what we can change in terms of, like, our ship and crew here. Alright, no, it looks like we still only have this normal stuff unlocked. Uh, but let's choose our officers. These are all new. Okay, so these are randomly generated. Um, okay, now we know we kind of want a good mix. So, engineering and hacking are really good for ground missions, as are, to be fair, persuasion and sharp senses. Or no, persuasion and discretion is typically these two. Okay. What is, this? what is this? Fight and piloting. This, this has come up a couple of times. Okay, okay. So, plus 15% DPS. Hull repair, plus 5, uh, plus point, 0 0.5 points per second. Um. Apply regen to all allied squadron in your deploy zone for 10 seconds. This is something that we used a ton. All right, so we definitely want you. Plus, you can do hacking and engineering. So, Chaewon Park, welcome to the team. Absolutely. And then, let's see. Um, Squadron speed plus 25%. I don't really see this as a huge benefit. So I think I'm going to take you and you. Oh, wait, we just get two. Oh, right, that's right. We only start with two. We picked up a third one in the last one, and actually, and eventually a fourth one, too. Um, uh, let's see. I think... Tactical targeting is going to be better for the early game, and hopefully we can pick up another person that has the ability to repair our hull, or uh, boost our weapon systems as well. Um, okay. Okay, so there's not there's not, not a whole ton of uh, uh, like story bits that are sort of spliced in between the runs. They basically treat you as like you already been through this, so you know. You remember it, probably. Um, let's see. This one has a ground signal. Okay. 
This middle one seems pretty good. Pretty much all of these paths have like four anomalies on them. So let's, yeah, let's just do this sort of middle bottom path. Transmission from this cargo ship, sir. I'll try to keep this short. We were transporting a Xeno. There's a collector around here. You probably guessed it, but it got loose. And thanks to that no good captain who triggered it before jumping the ship, we also have an activated self-destruct countdown. All right, we do know what a Xeno is. It's kind of like a man-eating alien, but we'll ask anyway. A Xeno? A Xeno is any indigenous unmodified species. This one here is an alpha predator, a Roncar female. I think even a team of elite soldiers might have a tough time handling her. Blade Omnis used to keep them in check back in the day, but now they're gone, so... What were we thinking bringing her onto the ship? There's a Xeno on our ship and ourselves is... Okay, yeah. Um, what can we do to help? Kill the Xeno that got loose on our ship, or distract her at least, so we can get off before our ship goes boom. You seem like a reasonable guy. We got a ship full of cargo. We have evil bodies. You help us, we help you. Interesting. Um, send smugglers in to save, or send commandos in to save smugglers. Send commandos in not to save smugglers, but grab cargo. Or ask a specialist officer to disable self-destruct. Yeah, let's do this. Can you deactivate the self-destruct feature on that smuggler ship? I don't see why not, Admiral. Smugglers? No, I can't imagine we're dealing with a sophisticated mainframe here, but let me take a look. Just as I suspected, sir, child's play. I've stopped the countdown. Of course, that Xeno is still somewhere on that ship. That situation remains the same. Oh, so now we have the ability to do both. Excellent. Send commandos in and save smugglers and grab the cargo. Kill the beast and rescue the crew, Captain. No one deserves to be Xeno food. My team is putting on their full tactical gear as we speak, sir. Best not to leave any exposed skin in situations like these. Come on, commandos. Sir, it was a massacre and not the good kind. The team ran into the, an adult female. Our men and women, they're gone, all of them. We lost, sir. We lost as bad as you can lose. Damn. Wow. Yeah, okay, and we didn't even save, I guess, the people or get the scrap or cargo or whatever. Damn, okay. Um, I want you here. I want you here. Scavenge Neo N. All right, to Neo N. That's a huge bummer on the, the the commandos, though. We got company, sir. A scrapper. Okay. Just when you thought you destroyed all the ships you could possibly, you possibly could, another beauty enters your world. Stedge. Bring it on, Stedge. You're going down. Uh, okay, so we will, you have fighters and we have frigates, excellent. We'll deploy both. What's our weapon got? Do we have two weapons or no? I think we just have the one. Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, we just have the one. Okay. So the frigates should go and intercept the fighters. And the fighters should go up to start taking care of their hull. Oh, there's a nanobot repair field here. Excellent. So we'll get the, frig the frigates to take care of that as well. You guys go ahead and start banging on their hull. You guys need to hurry this up a little bit. Yeah, good. We should defeat them, no problem. And then we should start taking the repair field. Nice, easy. Let's go. 
All right, we also have an expedition available here, planetary defense turret wreckage. Let's prepare the mission. We are only able to send eight commandos this time, unfortunately. Provided it's not going to be too dangerous. No major threats. Okay. Zero and five commandos lost. They'll return safety, safely, and extract between 51 and 81% of available resources. Athan... Athanasios, I believe is your name. Athan... Asios. Yeah, Athanasios Young. Please do us proud. Uh, optimal team size is 10. Send more commandos to improve the survival rate. Interesting. So the fewer you have, the more likely they are to be injured as well. Um, but we're also good at piloting and we're good at fighting. So I believe in you. Let's do this. Athanasios. Don't have demolition, that's okay. Oh yeah. We got the fight though. And the piloting, okay. No erudition. One injury. Two more injuries. Damn. Danger, fight, yes, we can do that. Danger avoided. Um, you've seen our bio readouts. What do you think? Should we continue? Yes, you should. Good. All right, we found the wreckage. Dude, let's go. Flat cannon mark one. No, your addition. Oh, that's a death. Damn it. We lost one. Um, okay. Irina, we we are thankful for your sacrifice. You will not be forgotten. Um, local system. All right, so we're done here. Let's make a jump. We're in pretty good shape for Neo N. That's one of the things that we were a little bit tight on last time. Whoa, this is a new thing. I'll be honest with you, Admiral. I'm gonna need a good reason not to end you. Ah, okay. Try to make a deal. Say you're trying to turn the Omnis back on. Offer them a chance to surrender. Well, we are trying to turn the Omnis back on. Don't attack. Our ship is perhaps the last hope the Empire has to turn the machines on again. What makes you think I want those things on again? Those anti-pirate Omnis made my job almost impossible. You're going down, and you're going down hard. All right, let's do this. Okay, so, uh, they're deploying fighters, so we're deploying our frigates. Um, that's okay. So send the frigates to intercept the fighters. Send the fighters up. Uh, oops, actually. Cancel that. You guys come back down here. Okay, they're fighting, so now go up here. And you guys go straight up here and start kicking the shit out of their battleship. They got their weapons heating up too. Uh, actually, I'm thinking that, oh, what is this? Incoming enemy. Oh, what? Okay. Nice, okay, it didn't matter. Weird. Bago is really cocky for being so squishy. Uh, all right, local system map. Army Depot. Basically exited London. London, is that an A? Damaged civilian tanker, sir. This has scrapper attack written all over it. Check it out, Lynch. Yes, sir.
I shudder to think what happened to its crew, but we're in luck, sir. Those scrappers missed some Neo N and refueling tech. Nice. Fuel scavenging efficiency plus one. That's pretty cool. Um, let's check out the shop as well. Okay, so they do have some squadrons available. That's likely... Okay, we could afford two of these. We also could have get some Neo N. We do need some commandos. So let's buy two commandos first. I think that's going to be important. Next. Cruiser Mark I Longbow. A cruiser? What does a cruiser do? Melee damage, none. Ranged damage, 18. Interesting. Drone Mark II Flash. Teleport to its... Okay, it teleports to its de destination. When using the Bender Drive to teleport, it generates an EMP shockwave deactivating all enemy squadrons adjacent to, adjacent to its destination for two seconds. That's pretty good. Drone Mark I Nano. Cannot be targeted by adjacent units. Current adjacent target cannot move. Wait, what? So it can't be targeted by adjacent units, so it can only be attacked, uh, targeted by like weapons or a ranged unit then? That seems crazy OP. Um, we want that for sure. Um, and I'm interested in what this is, but should instead we go with fuel? Well, actually, we can afford one fuel and still buy it, so let's do one of each. Great. Okay. Um, how does this work with the... Like, how does a cruiser fit in with the, uh, frigate drone fighter rock, paper, scissors thing? Not sure. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll find out. Uh, next. That's interesting. I had no idea there was even like a, a th more than the three options for ship types. Church ship. Greetings, Admiral. For only a small donation to the church, I won't blow you up with my far superior battleship. All things considered, I think you'll find this a most generous, generous offer. We can't make the donation. Um, w well, we won't because we can. I don't make donations to causes I don't believe in. You want my scrap? Come and get it. A scrap donation? I was only joking, Admiral. You Imperials are so serious. For the, uh, mix-up, please take a generous amount of my holy scrap instead, and save travels to you and yours. Interesting. What a bluff. That worked out pretty much as well as it possibly could have. A key battleship, sir, and badly damaged. I'm picking up a faint distress signal from inside their battleship. Want to send us in, sir? Honestly, it'd be nice to see a little action. Um, let's attempt to make contact. Get me in touch with the ship, Lieutenant. Sorry, sir. No one's responding. Ship looks to be abandoned. Want to send us in, sir? Yeah, I know you want to go. Um, no, yeah. If he wants to go, and I also want to see what's inside, let's, let's send him out. Lane, send out your troops. Of course, sir. Watch your sixes, troops. We're heading in. Sir, we're in. Our trackers are telling us that we're close to the signal, but we've hit a snag. Corridor, corridor collapse, sir. Blocking us. Unless we have a way of clearing a path through this rubble, I'm afraid the search ends here. Ask specialist for officer for assistance, an engineer. You know the situation, Lieutenant. Lean can't advance until we somehow clear a path for him. I see. Well... I should be able to remotely command a drilling drone. It won't be the biggest of passageways, but it should allow the team, well, most of the team, to continue forward. It 
It's done, sir. Thanks to the pe pencil pusher, we've made our way deeper into the ship. The signal is coming from the brig. There's a prisoner here. He's in a bad way. Got his hands on a dead guard's comm device and was using it to send the signal. Says the Aki's ship got crushed battling pirates. Also says he's a senator and that if we deliver him safely to his planet, we can expect a big fat reward. Downside is, he's stuck in one of those damn Aki hypercells. Gonna require some time and resources to bust him out. Your call, sir. Um... Sure. We have no proof that he is who he says he is, but... I mean, if we're just... The alternative is just leaving him to starve to death, and I, I don't feel great about that. Free the man, Lean. We're taking the senator home. Right away, sir. Thank you, Admiral. Feels nice to be out of that cage. Like I told your man, if you, if you deliver me safely to my home planet in the next sector over, mark my words, you'll be handsomely rewarded. All right. We'll do that. But first, I want to see this anomaly. Church battleship, Admiral. Spilling the blood of you and your crew will no doubt appease the god machines. Prepare to fight. Okay. This one's not much as much of a pushover as the last one, I guess. Uh, yeah. You're going to be deploying frigates, and frigates are bad against drones. Um, so we will do... Uh, ooh, should we do our marked... Our drone mark one nanos? Or... Oh, we didn't get that other specialty drone. Or we just do another normal drone. I kind of want to see these guys in action, so let's do that. Um, let's send you guys here. We'll send a frigate behind you. Okay. So you go accept, intercept the frigates. Ooh, what are you shooting at? Oh, them. Okay. Um, I want you guys to get out of there, please. Okay, so they should be kicking the shit out of you. I don't even think they can target you guys, right? Because you're adjacent now. Yeah, they're not losing any health. That's insane. So the only thing that can damage them is either their weapon system or something. I also their shield or their hull is shielded. So let's take out their weapons. Yeah, they don't even stand a chance. This is insane. These things are so good. All right, let's just keep them nearby. Enemy weapon is ready to fire. Your opponent wants to negotiate a truce and is offering this in exchange. No. We do not accept. Oh yeah, you guys are screwed. Victory. I'm wondering if they landed that shot there. Because that probably could have destroyed our frigates and made them patched in the future. Oh, we got a fighter mark one ghost. That's pretty sweet. Also, I didn't see them. Uh, the the frigates come up as like a cost. Yeah, no, it's still okay. All right, star map. All right, you. Where did you want us to go? For the quest. You said the next sector over, but that could be like a ton of different places. Oh, is this the... No. What? Where? Senator, where are we taking you? Close map. Um, upgrades. Oh, okay, we can all... I never knew you could use scrap to do this. That's interesting. Um... Kelly Man can't tell us. Interesting. I guess we're just gonna keep going on our way, because I don't know what that senator wants us to do, really. It didn't say, did it? And I don't see a marker for it anywhere. Right? Well, there's point of interest markers. But everything has that. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go here. 
Odd for that guy to want us to take him home so bad, but then not tell us where he lives. A station, sir. Hard to say if there's anyone in there or not. Ask Ozu to make contact. Contact the station, Lieutenant. Contacting the station, sir. Yeah, what is it? Kinda in the middle of some top secret research here. Um... Tao Tanaka. Teo Tanaka. Um... Ask about the station. Tell me about your station. Oh, this old pe- oh, this old place? Well, I built it a long time ago. Scrappers and pirates don't bother me, cause they know I have this thing rigged with explosives. Hey, I guess you know that too now. What do you want to know? I don't have all day. Ask about the shutdown. Do you know anything about the shutdown? You mean, do I know who or what did it? The answer is yes. You know? Of course I know. I've had a lot of time to think about it here. 20 years to be exact. I have it all mapped out. The who's, the why's, the when's. Who did it then? Who or what shut the Omnis down? Ha! <laughs> you think this information is free? What? You think we were born yesterday? In some kind of secretive cloning facility on a hidden barren planet on the outer rim? Or something, or some such specific nonsense? Maybe this guy does have all the answers. We don't have enough scrap to pay him. Sorry, but we're running slow on scrap at the moment. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm just another crank? Well, I'm not, okay? You know what? I, I think you should leave, Admiral. You've outstayed your welcome. What do you want to know? Um, is there anything we can do for you? Yeah, the sooner you leave, the sooner I can get back to my research. Top secret. All right, well, this has been a pleasant conversation with you, Teo. I hope you have a great day. There truly is an Admiral. I'm afraid your visit has been nothing but a huge waste of my time. What an a-hole. End of transmission, sir. All right. Scavenge Neo N. Ooh, dude, let's go. I love this. Um, local system map. Incoming message. Hello? Is anyone there? This is Admiral Idaho of the NS Odysseus. Admiral, I'm so happy we've contacted you. You have to help us. What's the problem? Slow down. Tell me, what happened? It's our planetary radiation shield. Without the Omnis around, it basically no longer works. Over the last 20 years, our cancer rates have skyrocketed. Now 97% of the population has the disease. I wouldn't ask unless we really needed it. We're a proud people, you have to believe me. But we desperately need scrap to patch the shield. It might not even work, but we have to try something. If we don't, our estimates tell us that our civilization will be gone in 10 years. Um, can we trade with you? Because I don't have that. I'm sorry your people are suffering, but our supplies are limited. Maybe if you have Neo N, we could do a deal. I'm sorry, Admiral, but we also need to hold on to our Neo N for the moment. Then is there anything else that you might trade? I'm afraid not, Admiral. Our resources are few. No, I don't think we can do any trade with you. So can you help us? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, but our scrap is low at the moment as well. I'm disappointed, Admiral, but I can't say I'm surprised. The truth is, nothing surprises me anymore. Without the machines around, we're animals. We're all just animals. Sorry, Yuki. Good luck, though. Make the jump to the anomaly? Scrapper patrol, sir. Guess we took one too many turns back there. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. You're lucky I'm nice. Give me something and I won't break your ship. Ask Caliban for his advice. Any advice here? A battle here will result in an increase of the scrapper patrols in the sector. That said, we might have no choice but to fight our way out of this. You shouldn't be here. 
give me something so I don't break your ship. Uh, let's try to intimidate him. We have nothing to lose. Death by Neo and an irradiation will feel like a deep tissue massage compared to what my ship can do to you. Leave before it's too late. Nice try, Imp. We'll take your scrap the old-fashioned way. Over the remain over your remains. It's a trap. The enemy was waiting for you. Its squadrons have deployed and its weapons are ready to fire. Alright. Starting off on the back foot here, that's okay. Uh you're deploying drones and fighter, so we will deploy fighter. All right, we have to let it cool down. Uh, and friggin', um, we have a fighter ghost. What does that do? Stealth though. Become invisible to enemies while active. Okay. That seems good. Let's do that. This and then this. Move the frigates this way and let them intercept them. Move the frigates up. Here. Okay, send these guys around. Is your cloaking active right now? Or your stealth active? Let's send you guys right here and let's start moving you guys up as well. Actually, back off. You guys come up here. There we go. You guys keep going. Alright, you guys get ready to go. Yep, good job. We're taking down their weapons. Nice. Nice, easy. Matter destabilizer mark one. Alert increased. Okay, so there's gonna be more scrappers around. Whoa. Alright. Um Sang Jiang. San San Jiang. Let's do it. We can't afford to lose much time here. Sir, I got R and D for you. Sir, I hope you don't mind, but since we had a little time on our hands, we went ahead and built a little weapon prototype out of scrap. We think it'll really help you blow our enemies up. Don't you think you should have asked for permission first? Oh, yeah, sir, you're absolutely right. But, uh, it's almost complete. Do you want us to finish it or not? No, I don't. We only have six scrap. What are you building it out of our beds? Um, no, order them to break the weapon down so as to not use more scrap. And also, hopefully we get some of it back, because uh, I appreciate the effort, team. But we need all the scrap we have right now. You'll have, a, you'll have to break it apart. Not a problem, sir. I mean, it's not like we stayed up all night putting it to, putting the finishing touches on it or anything. Yeah, okay. Let's not be passive aggressive when you did something wrong, okay? R&D is so sensitive. Yeah, clearly. Scavenge Neo N. Dang, just one. Okay. Local system map. Ejected cryopod. A key beacon, sir. Picking up an old message. Hi, Dr. Tanaka here with the house Ak Akibara Song modification, modification Services, reminding you to get your yearly mods. You don't want to end up looking like an Imperial, do you? Interesting. Wasn't that the name of the doctor that we ran into who's doing his top secret quote unquote research? Uh, let's prepare a mission. Scan the planet. Nice. Okay, this is really good. Wow. Okay. So, zero and zero commanders, uh, 51 to 81% of available resources. Or we could make bad decisions and send you for no reason. Let's send the good person. Launch expedition. Exposition. Expedition. Okay. Excellent. Dude, this lieutenant is like the best lieutenant ever. Athanasios Young, I love you. 
If I die as captain, you're vice captain. You're not an engineer, but you know, you can't you can't win them all. Uh yeah, let's continue. You guys are doing great. Okay. Keep going. How does I don't understand how piloting got us resources there, but whatever. Uh, waiting for extraction, sir. Literally nothing happened the whole time. Great job. 108 scrap. We'll take it. Does R&D still want to do their stuff? Because we can afford it now. Um, although something tells me that they wouldn't be too happy about that. Civ transporter, sir. And in bad shape by the looks of it. Good thing we found you there. This piece of junk's about to blow up and take us out with it. Ask about the ship and its passengers. Please, tell us about your ship. They forced us on this clunker and sent us off like a bunch of animals, not caring if we lived or died. Who did, Captain? The people of our home planet. I can't even bring myself to say its name now. When food became scarce, they turned hostile to my kind, blaming us for the planet's troubles as if the shutdown had nothing to do with it, saying, we were all nothing but thieves and murderers. Then, early one morning, they rounded us up, the Red Eyes, as they started calling us, and forced us on this dump with its Vicarelli engine. And why have they done this? For what good reason, you ask? There is none. Only because we look a little different than they do. But I guess we should have seen this coming. As soon as there's trouble, it's always the people who look different that suffer. Can you help us, Admiral? How can we help you? What can we do to help you? Rescue us before this overheated engine of ours takes us out. Better yet, a skilled, pi a skilled pilot could get us close enough to put a cryo clamp on the outside of their engine room, Admiral. That should give us pl plenty of time for a rescue. Uh, hell yeah. You heard the man. Put a clamp on the engine room, Lieutenant, and do it fast. You got it, sir. I'll check back when it's done. It's done, sir. The clamp's attached. Should give Lean and his troops the time that to get these sieves out of there before that transporter blows. Well done. You never let me down. Many thanks, Admiral. My thoughts turn dark when I imagine what would have happened to us had we not run into you out here. Some of us have basic training, Admiral. It was a requirement on our planet. Now, we're not well-oiled killing machines, mind you, but if you'll have us, we'll gladly put our lives on the line for you. Hey, nice. Let's go. Welcome aboard. Okay, all right, so yes, we can recruit a new lieutenant if we'd like. We can also afford one Neo N and still do that. Right? Just one? Yeah. Um. Okay. So you're a spy. You're another soldier. Squadron speed. Oh, wait, what was this? Deals two DPS to enemies adjacent to your battleship system cells. That's pretty good means we have to worry a little bit less about defense. Squadron speed plus 10 when visible, but plus 35% when in stealth mode. Excuse me. Um, heat sustained by weapons from battleship, from system, by systems from battleship weapons 1.5 times. Or increases squadron's deploy zone. This is, seems the least helpful to me. This seems the most helpful, but we also, you're only good at what our other lieutenant is already good at. Um, what are you good at? Hacking and engineering. Okay, we don't have anything in the spy traits. Lethal, lethal firing heat. Okay, yeah. Um. Damn. Riley Rubin. Yeah, I think... Even though I, uh, so I'm between these two basically because I, uh, we want that those spy traits. Um, 
speed or deploy zone? I think speed is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, let's grab some Neo N, and then we're one dollar short to buy another one. Um, so let's just pick up a commando, why not? Uh, is there anything we want to sell? Oh, that's right, we do have quite a bit of weapons here that we haven't really been paying much attention to. Damage 15, delay 22 seconds. Damage 25, delay 33 seconds. Targets 10 random cells in the area. I don't like that. Apply decay. Um. I don't really like those. So we'll keep our piercer laser mark one. Um, and let's grab another Neo N. And another commando. And, uh. Yeah, I think we're good here. That's it for this, so star map. All right, that takes us here. So actually, before we do that, I want to make sure that all of our ducks are in a row here. Um, yeah. Yeah, everything is the way we want it, I think. So let's, let's do this. All right, do us proud, here we go. New sector, boss. I didn't want to brag, but the Neo N child gives me a 51% chance of beating you. Yeah, well. All right, what are we doing here? Um, so you have drones and fighters. So we want fighters and frigates. Um, let's put a frigate here fighter here, and run that, okay, so we're probably going to want to set you guys up, and you guys over, I want to send you guys actually out of the way, yep, and now you guys come back up here, perfect, you guys keep on going, same with you, Oh, we should take a look at this. All allied squadrons are always in a patched state, cannot be repaired. And a quarter health instead of half, okay. Let's just put you guys here and put you guys here. And that way, hopefully they deploy their squadrons between us and we kick the shit out of them. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, okay. And once you guys are no longer confused, get back to your stations. Oh, actually, you just do this. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to come back to us. Ooh. Okay. Let's come over here. All right, we're getting double teamed a little bit. That's not great, so let's take out these guys. Oh, we shouldn't have moved. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, the drones are gonna get here first, so we should launch the fighters first. Fighter mark one. Up there, up there, up there. Okay, nice. And then get the frigates ready. We have frigates? We don't. But we have the nano drones, which can't be targeted. So this will be in a heads up fight. There. I don't understand how anybody is really supposed to do anything about these guys. Like, they don't have that much health, but they have to use their weapons to take them out. And that's pretty insane. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, like in this case, there's nothing they can do. Um, let's bring the fighters back. Actually, let's just go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, we missed. Damn it. Um, fighters, come back here. Ah, 
Nice. Great. These guys should win here in a second. Great. Now let's do this. And start taking them out again. These guys heal up here. Get ready on the weapon systems to take these guys out. Pretty much immediately. Boom! Let's go, dude. Good job, Admiral. Here's a summary of the battle. We got two uh, fleets wrecked. But 500 scrap, that's insane. Echoes, Chapter 1. Sector 2 of 3. Alright, I think we are going to leave it here for this episode, and we'll pick up um, and work our way through this next sector in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment to tell me what you think of this uh, series so far. Uh, like I said before, I, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am because I am definitely um, enjoying the hell out of it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks very much for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one.